Four times World's Strongest Man, Brian Shaw releases his first arm wrestling video under the tutelage of our very own Derek Smith. Dave Chafee makes the eerie news. And gone are the days of Jerry, Big Daddy, Cataret. And in are the days of Jerry, Captain America, Cataret. Why not? All that and more in this week's Arm Wrestling Week in Review. Take it time, take it. Welcome back for another Arm Wrestling Week in Review. If you are new to the series, what I do here is I compile links that I find throughout the week, moderating the subreddit among other places, and then go over everything to make sure we're all up to speed on the ever-changing arm wrestling landscape. So if that sounds good to you, please leave a like and subscribe and I will keep them coming. First, and perhaps most excitingly, our very own Derek Smith, also a moderator at the subreddit, actually collabed with Brian Shaw and they are pumping out all kinds of arm wrestling content uh, he's probably still there right now, but the first video on Brian Shaw's channel, which has nearly 2 million subscribers, came out and it's Derek coaching Brian over the fundamentals of arm wrestling and doing a great job if I do say so myself. I want to hook two, yep. and I want to isolate your bicep. Now, okay. in order for me to isolate your bicep, I would drive sideways and start ch chopping down on it now. So you can see it's really technical stuff. Brian is serious. This isn't just for fun clickbaity videos no brian is learning the ins and outs of arm wrestling from a highly qualified individual in derek smith so check that out on brian shaw's channel also derek smith is putting out some behind the scenes stuff so his channel as well has some really cool footage we'll take a look at that a little bit later next up i did a little piece on the weird phenomena in arm wrestling which is the spelling right you think if there's one thing that should be settled in this sport it's how to spell the damn thing so some people do arm space wrestling, some just make it one word, arm wrestling, and then arm dash or hyphen wrestling is also a valid spelling. So this was a fun video I made going over the differences, looking at the dictionary, looking at New York Times articles and trying to get to the answer. How do you spell the name of our sport? So uh, as always, videos will be in the description, so check them out there. Next up, we have Dave Chafee making the news in Erie, Pennsylvania in what fans are calling the greatest arm wrestling match of all time. Our John yes, Last on Erie's arm wrestling legend for this edition of The Last Word. So we skip around here and it's just a, a good piece on Dave Chafee. You get to see a little bit of how he trains. And uh, at the end, of course, he arm wrestles the news anchor. <laughs> so cool piece, love to see it. We just saw Jerry Cataret on the news. Now we're seeing Dave Chafee. Arm wrestling is blowing up and there's no stopping us now. We also had this crazy poster come out uh, from Engin Terzi for the upcoming East vs. West event, East vs. West 5, and this is the first time I've ever seen someone refer to Jerry Cataret as Captain America, and I know Jerry, I've trained with him a bunch of times, he's from Massachusetts, I am as well, I've never heard of that, but it's kind of fitting of the lore for what's going on in the arm wrestling world with Jerry really kind of holding it down for the... Uh, supers in the east versus west events right he does a great job representing the usa just beat gennady now he's got ermies so i mean it fits i kind of like it you know he used to be jerry big daddy cataret i don't know if it's going to switch to captain america but i'm fine with it i think it's cool and uh i think soul arun makes these posters kudos to him they're always stellar um and we get to look forward to jerry being jerry november 19th for the next East versus West event uh, versus Ermes, who a lot of people are saying the winner of that match is going to get Levon, so pay attention. Next up, we have a sentence I wasn't sure I'd ever say: Devin Larratt is going to compete at East versus West. Now it's most likely going to be the next one, not the East versus West five. The following one, East versus West six, which is slated for January of 2023. And his most likely opponent is going to be the winner of Prudnik versus Michael Todd happening at East versus West 5. So finally, it seems like Devin and Engen buried the hatchet. Um, things got a little dicey there with them for a bit, but he's coming. It had to happen. East versus West is now basically the biggest event, maybe tied with King of the Table, but Devin needs to get on there. He really does. And alive with Engen, uh, they were talking about who his opponent should be. Gennady was thrown around, but Gennady's heavier, and I don't think he wants to cut weight. Uh, Devin said he's kind of done chasing the number one super heavyweight spot anyway, so 
that sort of 242 area, although I guess Engen makes it the, up to 253 pound division, uh, makes sense, which would be the winner of Michael Todd and Prudnik. And then they would face Devin for the overall number one at 242. So that's awesome. Um, keep you posted on that with any updates. But for now, all we know is it's going to happen. Also worth noting is that the King of the Table events are hosting a tournament October 28th in Dubai for the King of the Table Double Elimination Tournament. So this is the first time that organization is actually throwing a tournament. They obviously do the premier super match cards, but now they're doing a classic tournament. And I think the drive or the carrot at the end of the stick there is that the winner or winners are going to get a match at the next King of the Table super match event. So if you're in the area or feel like taking probably a long flight, uh, check it out. It's sure to be a good event. This one isn't directly related to arm wrestling, but I think it's worth a watch anyway. It's a piece from the Human Institute of Anatomy going over how exercise affects our bone growth. So it was just fascinating to learn about the bone and how different pressures and tensile strengths and compress compressive forces just make your bones adapt. They are living adaptive tissue. Uh, so check that out if you want to learn a little more about your skeleton. I do want to shout out the new East vs. West official YouTube channel so you can get some highlights and just high quality footage from the East vs. West events right here. Again, all links are going to be in the description. And finally, as mentioned, Derek Smith is giving us some behind the scenes footage uh, during his stay at Brian Shaw's place. Obviously, Brian has an incredible gym with some super funky equipment because it's strong, man. So Derek's giving us some behind the scenes looks. Oh man, here in the gym, guys. You can see the Atlas stones in the back there. So this is on Derek Smith's channel. Check it out and uh, support Derek and Brian Shaw collabing because it's awesome. And that's going to do it for this week in review. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll keep these coming every week so we are all caught up on the same page. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.